Hello and welcome everybody. Within the next minutes we will have an all-around view on the youngest member of our PCB separators family, the Maestro 4S. When it comes to separating PCB, low stress on ceramic components and the separation of aluminium are high on the agenda. Dear audience, with Maestro 4S you are fully prepared. What you are watching now is the standard separation of FR4 PCB. It is done with one cut. The gap between the blades is about 0.05 mm. The displacement between upper and lower blade may not vary more than 0.1 mm. The engine finds his lowest position. There are knurled screws with which the cutting length can be fixed. No buttons are needed. Furthermore, Maestro 4S offers the possibility of separating PCB with not just one, but several cuts. The main advantage of separating components with several cuts is the reduction of tensile and compression strength. In other words, the less material is displaced per cut, the lower the stress on the component. Please see the separation process with three cuts. Save this program as program 2. The blade distance at first cut is 0.3 mm. It is 0.15 mm with the second. Final cut with the third. Now the Maestro reduces the remaining material thickness. This is done automatically according to the data we had programmed with the operation panel before. Let's have a closer look, statically and in color. This time I have chosen 0.8 mm remaining material thickness. You see recommendations as regards cutting length. Separation may be done with one cut or up to five cuts. As I have said before, these are just recommendations. Of course, they may be varied according to individual demands. We consider it important to take our users by the hand. Therefore, all our devices are delivered with operator's manuals that, amongst others, include recommendations for blade distances when cutting PCB for remaining material thickness up to 0.3 mm. Once again, protecting ceramic components is very important. We have just discussed the number of cuts but there are more possibilities of stress reduction. For example, milled cutouts along the pre-scored groove. If there is not enough space for milled cutouts, 
drilled holes along the breeze cord groove may help. There have been various measurements on both procedures to finally confirm that stress actually now tends to zero. Speaking of measurements, with all our new devices, measurement protocols are provided. In these, users can see scale values in their equivalent stress factors. And there is another thing to say in this context. We are going to offer stress and strain measurements as a service. All in all, I consider this is a first-class service package. Now let's change topics. We are frequently asked about the possibility of separating aluminium. Aluminium, elsewhere insulated metal substrate, gets more and more important as a carrier material. Aluminium is regularly used in the lighting electronics, in various alloys. But that is not all. Aluminium gets more and more popular in other areas too. The most common alloys in use are RL, MG3 and, if it comes to softer stuff, RL, MG2.5. CAP provides a standard rollerblade for cutting aluminium. With this, exclusively, RL MG3 PCB can be separated. Therefore, the roller blade is interesting for customers that are using either a Maestro 4M PCB separator or a Maestro 3. Important to know in this context, with a standard roller blade, the PCB has often to be run over several times sometimes even by both sides. By contrast, there is a bunch of possibilities with Maestro 4S. Combined with a standard roller blade FR4 and with a special adjustment, the Maestro 4S can be used for various alloys. First of all, let's try to separate aluminium with standard FR4 blade adjustment. As it has been done with the FR4, we once again do the separation in three steps. You all see, there is no chance of separating the PCB, neither with three cuts nor manually. Let's now change the blade adjustment. Make sure that there is a displacement between the upper and the lower blade. An easy way to do this is inserting two or three additional washers. I always recommend to check the fixedness of the engine before lashing the screws. Make sure that the engine to the drive shaft is not jammed. We finally achieved the displacement we intended to have. almost exactly 0.3 mm. What we are doing next is adjust the lower stop. The upper blade is in its lowest position about 0.2 mm below the top of the lower blade. As we move the slider we see the blades do not touch each other. Let's demonstrate this process once again, this time in an animated design. Again, the blades do not touch each other.
because the upper blade is two tenths below the top of the lower blade, in this case it is sufficient to have the final cut done with 0.1 mm. This once again means less stress on the material. As regards the detail displays you see in the video clip, I will add supplementary information after the video has finished. Let us summarize what we saw. The pictures of this slideshow, the micrographs of the breeze cord groove after each cut. Starting with 0.3 mm remaining material thickness. After the first cut, there occurs the slight deformation of the breeze cord groove. After the second cut, the deformation is clearly visible. The PCB is finally separated with a third cut. Hopefully, my last descriptions will help during your daily work and I would like to thank you very much for your attention.